Welcome back to RC101 with the Taoist Flyer. Aerial video is one of the most common things people want to do with their RC aircraft. I constantly get comments about putting cameras on aircraft and flying them into girls' gyms. One of the hardest things about filming with an RC aircraft is knowing whether or not you're getting the shots you want. Usually you just have to wait until you land to see the video. The new Sky Eye and Peregrine Eye from Silverlit try to solve this problem by putting a video screen in the transmitter that actually displays real-time footage from the aircraft. The aircraft and transmitter communicate using a 2.4 GHz radio system. This means the aircraft can send a lot of information to the transmitter, including how much battery power the aircraft has left, as well as a video stream. The video can be recorded to a micro SD card that you put in the aircraft, so the amount of video you can record is limited only to the size of your SD card. The video system works great in the home, and it works nicely as a baby monitor or as a spy camera. It can even transmit the video to the next room. However, you may encounter interference when you go outside to a local city park. I've had good luck in the home with the video system, but when I go to the hobby shop or outside, it doesn't always work as planned. Some locations are better than others, so sometimes the video will be choppy, and sometimes it looks great. Real-time video systems are usually expensive and cumbersome. A lot of them require you to point a receiver at the aircraft at all times, but this one tries to compile it all into one package. The real-time display is brightly lit and it has a glare shield to block the sun. You can turn the display on and off to save power, and it really helps when you're trying to line up a shot to actually be able to see what the aircraft sees. The aircraft itself is a three-channel aircraft, so you can only control up, down, spin, and forward and reverse motion. It uses a tail motor for forward flight, and it can't fight any wind, so you can take it outside, but it really needs to be on a calm day with no wind. The helicopter is gyro-stabilized, so you need to turn the helicopter on first, set it on the ground, and then turn on the transmitter. If you start flying and it seems like the helicopter spins a lot and needs to be trimmed, try turning it and the transmitter off, letting the gyro reset, and then turning them back on, and you might have more stable flight. It flies really well, and it's very strong. Novice pilots should have no trouble learning how to control it, and the video system is a nice example of what to expect in the future. And I have to say, being able to communicate back and forth with the aircraft is great. It's nice to know how much battery power is left in the aircraft. It's nice to know how much footage I can record. And it's nice to know if I'm getting the shot that I want. And also, I have to say, the USB charging cable makes a really big difference. The aircraft charges in about 30 minutes, and it flies for about 7 minutes. The video quality can be changed between 320x240 to 640x480 and the videos come out as .asf files, so you may need to convert them or play them with VLC Media Player. I wasn't able to get them to play using Windows Media Player or with QuickTime. Now the quality of the video is okay, it works better in uh, high light conditions, it doesn't work as well in low light conditions. It's a nice first step into real-time aerial video, and I want to give a special thanks to FlyingToys.com for letting us test out this wonderful aircraft. Check out their site to learn more about it, and stay tuned for more RC101 with The Taoist Flyer.